Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have another unboxing today, finally, right? <laughs> it has been way too long since I've done an unboxing, but I have got several, I've got several diamond paintings that I still need to unbox. So we're going to be getting to them eventually, uh, gradually, yeah. <laughs> so let's start with this one. And I'm just going to do one today. I think there are, yeah, there's two in this box, but we're just going to do one. That way um, the video won't be too long and we can have another video soon. So let me see which ones I've got in here. Um, as you can see, there are two in this box and I think think it may be one that I recently purchased. Uh, ooh, yeah. Okay, let me see which one I want to open. Let me check what the other one is. I don't even remember. <laughs> Let's see. Um, okay, we're going to do, I think we're going to do this one. Let me lay it down and then we'll do the other one in a few days. How's that? Um, oh, guys. Oh my gosh. While I'm opening this box, I'm going to tell you about the little ordeal that I just had. <laughs> because I've been meaning to get some pottery done. And I was going to try to um, bisque fire some of my pottery that I've recently done. Some little trays that I made. And I went out to my patio. And if you didn't know it, we've been having lots of rain. Well, not now, but we did. The beginning of January was just terrible. There was like a lot of flooding and everything. Um, so anyway, long story short, I went out to my patio to start my kiln and realized even though my patio, patio is covered, rain leaked in somehow and my kiln shelves, which were sitting out, got wet and they're completely like soaked. So um, needless to say, I couldn't start my kiln yet. I couldn't do any bisque firings for a while until the kiln shelves dry. So it's gonna be a little while for that. So what I decided to do since the sun is out today, um, I was going to take my kiln shelves out to the front yard and put them in the sun because the backyard as I said is a covered deck and I don't really have much of a yard at all it's just it's just the patio and the fence is like right there but um so <laughs> and with my dogs I've got a baby gate up to keep them from going out on the patio out, out, out back well I was carrying the kiln shelf and trying to step over the baby gate and I tripped, caught my shoe on it and went down in the dining room, broke the fall of the kiln shelf with my hand and those things are heavy. I don't even know how much it weighs, but I went down on my left knee and I had you can't even tell, miraculously. I had my kiln shelf, well, it's a little red, maybe. Had my kiln shelf, you know, in both hands, and I went down on this hand, holding the kiln shelf, and it just smashed right here. Where <laughs> It just, I broke its fall and kept it from breaking by, you know, keeping my fingers right in between the floor and the kiln shelf. So yeah, that did not feel good. And I skinned my left knee. Uh, I was, uh, I was like, you know, in pain. <laughs> but luckily, I mean, I'm surprised it the pain actually didn't last that long. So and then I took a look at my knee and it's only skinned. So <sighs> kiln shelf didn't break. I didn't break my hand. <laughs> I don't think I did. I can move my fingers and it doesn't really hurt. So worst thing that came out of that was a skinned knee 
And I finally got my kiln shelf out to the front yard, so hopefully it will dry soon. The other three aren't too bad, so there I left them on the patio out back, so... Oh, hopefully I'll be able to get my pottery started here within the next few days, as long as the kiln shelves dry. Because if you put them in the kiln before they get dried, before they're completely dried out, they can also explode, which would not be a good thing. But I'll keep you guys updated on my pottery in a separate video, and we'll do a kiln opening once I get them glazed and everything. So we've got this unboxed, and what we're going to do is take a look at the little sticker that comes with it. And I don't know if I'm saying this right, but this one is Akami, or Akemi, and it's by Sylvia Strick. I don't know if I said that right either, so <laughs> I hope I didn't butcher her name. But this is this was just a gorgeous print that I wanted to do. Um, look at it it's very it's very beautiful um and she's got like little elf ears and so anyway let's take a look at the canvas and the toolkit and the drills which are also in here and this is a diamond art club diamond painting i love diamond art club and guys oh this is one of the newer ones that I've ordered. I haven't had a kit like this before, so they've got... And they may have changed it since I got it, but um, I love how it's in a little Ziploc bag now. And it says toolkit, and see it's got a little Ziploc. Um, and it comes with your diamond painting pen. And extra baggies that you can kit up with. Now some diamond paintings don't come with the baggies, so what I've done is I went out and bought these. Um, there's 200 in here, and they are heavy duty, little heavy duty Ziploc baggies. So these are cool too. I just keep these around just in case I run out or in case there's not enough in the kits. Um, in the kits that do send them, but these are really nice to have and I always save them whenever I receive them. Oh my gosh! Diamond Art Club! They stepped up their game! What the? They actually sent washi tape? Are they doing this all the time now? I don't remember them doing this before, did they? I may be losing it, guys, but I don't think Diamond Art Club did this before. This is really awesome. Look at the washi tape. It's like a little bunny with a carrot. Hey, and this is the year of the rabbit. The Chinese year. It's the year of the rabbit. That's really cool. I wonder if they thought about that. Or if it was just a random coincidence. <laughs> And, oh, I'm so happy I got another cover minder. I've only had one other that I received uh, with a diamond painting, and the magnet has already come off of it. I don't know if the magnets just don't last very long, but um, the magnet on the one that I have came off of the little cover minder. So this is really cute, and it's like a little macaroon. And look. Check it out. I love little macaroons. My, I have this that I keep extra wax in. And this came with um, another toolkit that I got. I'll put links to everything down below in the description if you guys are interested. But I think this came with my... I think it came with a, a kit that I got a lot of diamond painting accessories with on Amazon. But this is so cute. And, of course, we have our squishy, which makes these diamond painting pens much more comfortable. So let's put that on. So you can see how that works. Oh, it's very tight. But, um, but yeah, it makes it so much more comfortable to hold. I love the squishies. 
and then it comes with wax so we've got a little heart tray of wax and looks like there's two in there cool two little I don't know what they're called they're wax <laughs> two little discs of wax and that's for picking up your diamonds we've got our diamond painting tray and this is pretty it's actually got um can you see that it's actually got sparkles these are different too because it used to be those uh i think it just used to be was it the green ones i have a whole stack of those the green ones that that came with these but this actually feels like much sturdier it's like a, a stiffer plastic so that's cool too and hmm what is this does anybody can anybody tell me what this piece is or what this goes to hmm oh I bet Because it's the same plastic with the little silver, or no, gold sparkles in it. I bet it goes somehow. Aha! Wow. Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Oh, that is awesome. That's ingenious because I have some trays like this. Here, I'll show you. I've got another tray like this. It's got some little random things in it right now. But it didn't come with a little stopper on the end. So when I've used it, my drills have fallen out the end when I tried to, like, shake them. Sometimes they spill out, and this little stopper will keep that from happening. That's awesome. Yay. And then we have a couple of multi-placers. And this is so that you can pick up more than one drill at a time. And do they say how many? Yep, this is a seven placer. It's got a number seven. Can you guys see that? Little number seven on it. And this is probably a three or a four. A four. It's got, yep. So you can pick up four diamonds with this one. Very cool. That's awesome. All right, we got through the toolkit. Oh, so how are you guys doing today? <laughs> Other than my ordeal, I've had a pretty good day. Got my laundry done this afternoon. And today is actually my son's birthday. But he's with his dad. So I won't have him until tomorrow. I actually gave him his birthday presents early. So... Tomorrow, we'll, we'll just be having a cake. I'm going to bake a cake for him tomorrow. Okay, I don't want to get these mixed up with my other kits, so I'm going to set these aside. Because I've got some other stuff over here on the table. So, yeah. He, he got his presents early before he went back to his dad's. And then, um, tomorrow, he'll be getting dropped off right after school. And I'm going to bake his cake during the day so that it'll be ready when he gets here. Oh, this is really pretty. Wow. Okay. So we have a thank you for your purchase. And this here, this is a bigger picture of what it's going to look like when it's finished. And Looks like there are some special drills, some ABs. Yeah. This is the chart that tells you what colors, which ones to put where on the canvas. You go by symbols and numbers and DMC codes. And so we'll take a look at the drills. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments if you guys are um, diamond painters. I know I've started posting some of my pottery and some of my knitting and some of my pin loom weaving. So I could have 
crafters of all types watching. So if you guys are interested in diamond painting, um, let me know. And I'll also have a link um, down below to Diamond Art Club. I am an affiliate, so I did get an affiliate link recently. Or, well, I guess it was last year. Um, so, yeah, I'll just put that down below. You don't have to use that. But um, if you do decide to, then I really appreciate it if you decide to order one through that link. Um, so let's take a look at the drills. So these are really pretty. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to say all the numbers or anything, but we're just going to take a look at the colors. And this one's got a lot of um, black, it looks like, and greens. I love green. Purple and green are my favorite colors, I think. The combination of um, purple and green. This one doesn't have any purple in it, I don't think. Maybe just a tiny bit up in the left-hand corner. But um, 310, so this is black. Yeah, I know 310. Like I said, it's got a lot of black. And look at this, it's got one, two, three bags of black. Well, I guess it doesn't have that much black when you think about it. It's just her mainly her hair but it does take up a good portion down here um, so we've got this color 337 I don't know if you guys can see that very well it looks almost like a really dark brown oh oh wow so there are three bags of this color too. Hmm, where is that? I wonder where that's gonna go. Oh, let's see. Let me look here on the chart. Three, three, what is it? Three, three, seven, one. Oh yeah, so it is the, uh, we'll take a closer look at the canvas here in a minute, but it's the pound sign. And I do see a lot of pound signs down here, also like next to her hair. Maybe it's like shadowing, maybe. Oh, this is a pretty color. Nine three five and nine three four is really similar. It looks almost the same. It's like a I can't really tell. It's kind of like a gray. Or green, maybe it's hmm. Yeah, it's taupe, sort of. Yeah. Oh, and then here comes the greens. Really pretty. Can you guys hear that chewing sound in the background? I put my daughter's puppy in his crate so that he wouldn't get into things. Oh, we have a drill trying to pop out. Do you see it right there? I got it. <laughs> oh, it's a piece of a drill. It probably got caught when they closed the bag. Let me put that aside so it doesn't... Doggies don't get into that. <clears throat> More greens. Ooh, some... It's almost like a... I don't know what you'd call that. A grayish green or... Oh, I'm really bad with naming colors, <laughs> but these colors are gorgeous. I really love them. Mm. And 3782. So these are beautiful. Hold on. Did I say we had some ABs? I'm trying to remember which numbers ABs are, actually. I think they're in the 100s. Did I? weird. Hmm. Hold on. Let me look at this really quick here. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't see this. I was like, are, is that all? Are we missing drills? Okay, let me set these aside. We just looked at half of them. There's more right here. 
I knew we were missing something, and I was just blindsided by that. Sorry for all the crinkling, guys. A little diamond painting ASMR. <laughs> so, we'll probably find the... Oh yeah, I see I see an Aurora Borealis right here. It's so beautiful. Okay, so here's some more. Like a peachy color. That's pretty. Like a mustardy color, like a Dijon mustard. Another peachy color. And these are round drills. Right now I'm working on a diamond painting that's a square drill. So it'll be nice to take a break from that and do a round again once I finish. Oh, look at this one, guys. So here we go. We are, oh, that is gorgeous. Look at all the colors. So this is an AB, and that stands for Aurora Borealis. And you can tell why they say that, because just look at the way it sparkles with all the different colors. I think I saw one more. We'll see if we if we did or not. Oh boy, yeah, look at that one. There's another one that's got you see the different colors shimmering in there. And it's number 100, so that is definitely an Aurora Borealis. An AB. <laughs> Let me know what you guys are working on right now. If you're doing a diamond painting, or even if you're knitting, or crocheting, or or whatever you do, I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear what you're working on. There's another one. Another Aurora Borealis. AB. I keep saying the full name, but they're just... Yeah, they call them ABs. Really pretty. And another one, and that's it. Look at this one, guys. Look how shimmery and sparkly that is. And like I said, they're all like in the 100 number range. Gorgeous, wow. <clears throat> all right, sorry for the crinkles again. I think I'll just lay it aside <laughs> instead of torturing you, but um, Let's take a look at the canvas, and I think what I'll do is take you off of the tripod so we can get a closer look. Okay. <clears throat> see if I can do this without bumping any buttons or turning the camera off. And what I was saying was, um, you see the little pound signs on the canvas? Those little pound signs are going to be um, that brown color that I was looking at. And the black ones with the dots, the white dots in the middle, that is the black. That's all the three tens. So look how, my, how many black spaces there are. All of that is going to be black, but with some other colors mixed in. Just a few other colors. And the drill field looks really good, nice and clear. <clears throat> and I love how they put um, on the side, on the side they also have the chart so you can glance here or you can look at it on the uh, sheet that they send. So like, all these here, the first four, are the Aurora Borealis ones. So it's number one. These are the symbols. One, two, three, and four. I wonder if we can find where those are going to be. Let's see. <clears throat> Sorry for the glare, guys. Um, I'm looking... I'm looking, where would the sparkles be? 
I don't know. Hmm. I can't find them. I'm sure I'll find them once I get to working on it. It's going to be a green. It looks like it's going to be... Yeah, there was one that was sort of green. Maybe some black. Oops, I'm trying to turn it here so we can get a better look. Get a better look at her face. Here, let's do it this way. Look at that. I love her ears. Look at her ears. You see how when you step back you can you can see the picture that pops out. But when you get really close, you just you just it becomes really pixelated with all the numbers and it's just they're really amazing. Oh, I see numbers. Nope, I don't. <laughs> Never mind. That's a slash. Whoops. Right there. I thought that was a two when I was back further. Hmm. Wow, I can't find them. But I guess we will just find them as we're working on it. Four. Did I say four? Yep. <gasps> we found four, guys. All those fours are going to be the ABs. Those are going to be sparkly right there. That's going to be pretty. Ooh, that's a lot of ABs together there. Oh, all right, guys. I think I'm going to let you go. I will be back soon with another whip and chat while we're working on my, um, my Into Wonderland over here. <laughs> I'm still working on it. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'll be doing more um, unboxings because I've got a lot more to do. Been saving them up for rainy days. <laughs> I should have done them while it was raining. Boy, we had enough rain. We should have had enough rainy days that I could have probably gotten through all of them. But <laughs> instead, I was packing and preparing to evacuate in case I needed to. But anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. And... I will see you all again in the next video. Take care.